Shut up and sit down. Hey everybody, it's Makuma. I um, wanted to show you a couple, or a conversion that I did in a couple of models I assembled here. Um, now I have a lot of these old broadsides. <clears throat> they and they don't. I mean, they're hard to. They're hard to use nowadays because. Come on, dog. <laughs> they're hard to use because they, um, you know, they don't at all resemble the new broadsides. They're not the right shape, and they're not the right pose or anything like that, and they're not the right size. But I did this conversion to try to make it fall more in line with the new broadsides. I beefed it up a little bit by adding this piece to its neck. It has one of those uh, bodyguard or commander heads from the um, old commander set. It has the old broadside feet. I did cut the legs up so that they would look more like the stance that the newer broadsides are in. And I did the weapon systems the way that the new broadsides are. I switched the sides, of course. This side usually has the secret missile, and this side has the plasma rifle. But being an infantry model and not a vehicle, it doesn't matter what side they're on. And for the twin linked rail rifle, heavy rail rifle, I just um, cut the other rail rifle that came with this guy, laid it crossways instead of vertical. Um, I just, and I've seen that before and I just thought it looked cool, that's why I chose to do that. I put the shield generator here to give it that circular effect that the actual new broadside has, and this was one of the um, smart missile systems that comes with the original broadside, or the old one, um, which I am using as sort of like an ammo can to give ammo. Um, that's like the sort of where the ammunition is coming from. And I did base it on the old base as well, but I do have this little like converted base here, just in case anybody, um, I'm pretty sure that's the right size. I was, I was, I'm only looking at pictures, I haven't actually seen the actual models up close. But I'm pretty sure that's the size of the new base that they're on. So that at least makes it legal to play, um, as long as Sony doesn't mind me using the conversion, I guess, in a tournament setting. Um, with my friends though, I'm pretty sure this will be okay. That's all, the, all my other broadsides are. Uh, and then this base here, it's not really complicated, just some cork layer up to get the feet um, lit even, a little bit of sprue in the back. And this guy, even though he's like big chunks of pewter and everything, he's pretty stable. I got most of the weight right here in the middle, so he balances really nicely. And then um, I've got these Pathfinder rail rifles. Um, they're so much better in this codex that it just it seems stupid not to use them. It's 30-inch um, rapid fire, strength 6, AP 1. It's just so awesome. And now that they're rapid fire, it just doesn't make any sense not to bring them. They're the because of the changes to the rules for sniper weapons in the big rule book, the sniper drone teams and the crew sniper rounds don't really seem worth it anymore because they they can't rend. So that I mean they do get AP two if they roll a six, but they can't rend anymore, which basically means that you um, can't wreck most vehicles with them. They count as strength four against vehicles, which is you know whatever it's okay, but they they can't rend, so you really aren't going to be taking out that many vehicles with them. And they also don't pin anymore. So um, for the points, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that the rail rifles are the way to go. I have another one already done and painted up. So adding three to a unit of Pathfinders means that every turn, if you're within 15 inches, you can take six strength six AP1 shots. And uh, I tend to hit pretty often on Ballista Skill 3. And, and that's going to be dropping a lot of Marines uh, or making them take cover saves or go to ground or something. And, uh, yeah, so in my opinion, it makes the Pathfinder is a real threatening unit. Not only do they have marker lights and the pulse carbines, which can pin, but now they are bringing these, like, awesome rail rifles to bear, and I'm really happy with that. So I decided to put some more of them together after testing them a couple times in some games. Um, yeah, so I'd like to know what you guys think of this conversion. Would you be okay playing with somebody who had something like this? in a game, or would you um, insist that they have the new broadsides? Because they are a little bit different size. The height shouldn't be too much of an issue because I have beefed this guy up a little bit and stood him up on the base. And even here, he's, he's gonna be taller uh, with this conversion. So, I mean, the height shouldn't be a problem because he should be the right height. As far as size goes, he's not too far off the new broadsides in size, especially if he's in this bladed stance um, on, the, on the tabletop. So it won't be that hard to find cover even for the new ones, I don't think. And I got the base conversion here, just in case somebody's really particular about that. So I just wanted to get your guys' opinions, um, see if you thought um, you would play against somebody with a conversion like this, or if I should just bite the bullet and buy a bunch of the new broadsides and, I don't know, put my old ones on a shelf just to look at or something. Alright, I appreciate your guys' feedback. Thanks again, I'll talk to you later.